the reform process was initiated by President Hussein Sain. I believe that he is keen on democratic reforms. But how the executive goes about implementing these reforms is what we have to watch. And when we think of democracy, we have to think of the three props of democracy, the three arms of democracy, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. We cannot judge how genuine or how sustainable the democratization of Burma is simply by looking at the executive. Neither can we do it by looking simply at the legislature, nor by looking simply at the judiciary. Actually, if you were to look just at the judiciary in Burma, you'd probably see nothing, <laughs> because this is our weakest arm. And this is what we are trying to build up in the legislature, uh, through the legislature itself, and through the Committee for the Rule of Law, of which I'm fortunate, or unfortunate, I don't know, to be chairman. And uh, we all have to work together. Without rule of law, you cannot have the kind of economic reforms that will lift our people out of poverty. Economic relations between the US and Burma seem to have come to the forefront over the last several months. There is great eagerness on the part of international businesses to invest in Burma. Recently, uh, we produced a draft uh, foreign direct investment law, and this has been widely discussed. The first draft, as it came out, was uh, considered disappointing by many uh, would-be investors. But some changes have been made to this, and I believe that it will prove to be a lot more attractive than the first draft that came out last month. But whatever laws we produce, without the rule of law, without the kind of judicial system that will be there to make sure that the laws are upheld and obeyed, it will not provide anybody with either security or with the freedom necessary for them to operate effectively in our own country. So while the United States seems to be concentrating a lot on the economic aspect of its relations with my country. I hope they will do this in full awareness of the need to promote rule of law and to help the president and his executive to carry out the reforms they have in mind, as well as to help the legislature to strengthen itself as a body that will protect the people's interests through the laws that they enact and the laws that they amend and the laws that they simply just have to get rid of.